Well, hey there, everybody, and welcome to Will's World. My name is Will, and this is my world. In today's episode, we are going to continue our preparations for eventually conquering that water temple, the guardian temple, the whatever you want to call it. In any case, let's go ahead and catch you up on what I've done in between episodes, and then we can get started on what we're going to be doing today. So let's pop right into my head, like so, and uh, check out what we've got. In last episode, we built this beautiful wizard's tower brewing hut thing. And in between episodes, I've gone ahead and put an interior on the inside. Because that's where interiors go, obviously. We've got lots of storage downstairs here. Uh, lots of brewing stands ready and waiting. We've got cauldrons. Kind of liked this idea of sticking one in the middle here with a fire underneath it. Like we're, we're boiling the water. We got books up there on the shelf. Lanterns hanging from the corners. I love the lanterns. I've let villagers out and thought, hey, maybe they'd become clerics, but no, they're all fishermen. For whatever reason, all the villagers want the barrels. That's all they want. I don't understand it, but whatever. So we're starting to gather resources for making potions we still have resources to collect and those resources are like carrots and puffer fish so actually today one thing we're going to do is make one of those cool uh micro farms for the carrots but yeah i think it's a pretty decent interior the thing with the interiors they're just they're hard to they're hard to time lapse and they're hard to record on camera because they take so long. If I figure something out for that where I can show you guys, or if you want me to actually record a session building an interior like that, uh, drop a comment, leave a like, let me know, and maybe that's something I can do in the future. But for today, we have to add some more land to the island because we're going to be building one of those micro farms, and of course, you know, I want it to look, I want it to look cool, so we're going to add some land, and we're going to make the micro farm, and then we're going to build a building around it. So, no more talking. We're going to jump into a time lapse here and uh, get, that, get that land built up. So, as always, I will be back in a flash. And we are back, and today, guys, we are starting a brand new and exciting segment of Will's World. That's right, we are doing Redstone with Will. Oh, this is gonna be just a joy. And this is, this is how we're starting. We've got this little stone brick pit in the ground here, and this is going to be the base of our build. Everything that I need is in this shulker box, and in my inventory. So the first thing we're going to do is grab these guys out because I need to make a hopper minecart thingy. We need that. Let's 
Is that not right? What if I if I put the block here? Will that power it? Oop. Oh. There we go. Oh, wait, no, that's not right either. I, okay. I'm not the smartest man in the world. <laughs> Alright. Um, yes. We're going to get this, uh, we're going to get this right. Yes! I'm a genius. <laughs> Alright, quickly. Need to sleep. Need to sleep. Celebrate in a minute. Alright, good morning. So, I've got it. I've got it actually working. We're going to throw a hopper here, and we're going to throw a couple of chests. Do a double chest there to feed into that dispenser. Into that dispenser goes all of the bone meal. And we have that skeleton farm, so bone meal's not gonna be difficult to uh it's not gonna be difficult to get. So, bone meal goes into the dispenser, and what we can do with this is. We've got carrots, we're going to stand here, we're going to hit the lever, and if this works, we're just going to stand here and hold right click on this patch of dirt. And it should dispense the bone meal, which will cause the carrots to grow. When this block comes down, it makes it completely dark in there, which causes the carrots to be harvested. The hopper minecart under the dirt pulls the carrots down through and into our little double chest storage down there. So let's see if I did this correctly. This should work. And enough carrots get thrown out at me, hopefully, to keep a constant supply of carrots in my hands, as well as a constant supply going down into our chest downstairs. It does appear as though there is some server lag going on here, though. So... We might have to play a little bit with some of the timings, I think. But, I think it's... I think it's working! I think it's working! So we've been sitting here for... What would you say? A minute? We'll see if I run out of carrots here. Yep, ran out of carrots. Alright, so turn the machine off. But look at that! Look at all of that! We started off with 33 carrots, and we ended up with two and a half stacks. So that, my friends, is a completed micro farm! It's an ugly machine, obviously, so we're gonna want to build something nice to hide this ugly machine. We're going to cut it here, and I am going to get to building a nice little hut to hide this, uh redstone monstrosity so as always guys i will be back in a flash
Okay guys, I am back. Lovely little time lapse, got the basic shape and outline of this little house done, and this is what we've got so far. And I know, I know, it's not the prettiest thing in the world right now, but that's how all of them start, right? You just get the blocks down, get a basic color palette in, and then afterwards, that's when you go back and you start doing your texture variation and adding all the cool stuff. This did not look as good as it does now when we started it. This is going to look better. It's just the basic outline. But I will say that there are some cool little features, namely the roof and how these two sections come together. That you probably saw in the time lapse I I was struggling a little bit just for a moment there but uh but we got it sorted finally <laughs> so I still don't know how we're going to get the puffer fish but the only thought that I had was let's throw a dock on the back so that we can do some fishing out here if I find a puffer fish farm of some kind then we will add more land build a building do the whole nine yards just for the puffer fish as well for now though the carrot building here this little farmhouse oh that was brilliant I'll fix that in a second this farmhouse carrot farm whatever you want to call it I think it's gonna work out really nicely I added this little portion onto the back of the house here because I needed something on this Wall. It was just super blank. We're going to do something on this wall as well. I just haven't figured out what yet. On the outside here, big window up top, big window here, and then of course we've got two windows on this side. So we're going to do planters, we're going to do all kinds of things detailing the outside of this house. And we are of course going to mess it up a bit and get some cool texture variation in and all of that fun stuff. So I think, again, it's hard to do a time lapse of interior decoration. It's hard to do a time lapse of even the you know, texture variation. That might not be too cool to watch. So we're going to cut here. And as always, I will be back in a flash. Okay, guys, I am back. Spent a good probably about an half an hour to an hour detailing the outside of the building uh, and getting it set into the world. There's no interior yet, obviously, but I do believe that uh, at least the, the outside of the building is done. So let's go take a look. I went ahead and I turned on these shaders because I, uh, it looks pretty. Anyway, we have extended our path out the basement back door of our main house and I went ahead and planted a few oak trees. We bone mealed up the ground a little bit. I hid some lighting underneath. Whoa! Apparently not enough lighting. Ugh. Stupid skeletons. So obviously I need to do some more hidden lighting but I think this little house looks pretty 
pretty, if I do say so myself. There is still a lot to do, specifically the interior. However, on the outside, we've got our texture variation in the walls, which I think looks great. We've added some planters to the outside. We even grew some seagrass in the water around the place. We've thrown in some lighting. I was talking about doing this faux window back here, and I think it turned out really great. You know, it's a, it's a, there's nothing there. There's no, there's no, like, actual room here. But what I was able to do is behind those trap doors are a couple of shroom lights. So at nighttime, it just looks like a window that, you know, looks inside the house and it's, it's, it glows in the dark which I think is really, really cool. We've got another planter box here, and another one here, just kind of rounding out the whole building. And I like this arched, like, front porch area. Little fenced-in, tiny yard, but, you know, the path leads over to the back of the house, and it just, it looks great. I suppose I can go ahead and show you what what's on the inside right now, which is, like I said, nothing. I think I might try to do something where there's a second floor up here or something. Maybe the bed is like, maybe there's a loft, right? Yeah, maybe there's a loft. If we come in here, I just closed off this wall and shrunk the ceiling down, and I think it worked out okay. I think I want to put curtains on these windows using the banners, but aside from that, our little carrot farm fishing hut thing, I think it turned out pretty great. I really, really like it. Let's uh, get a fly by, eat some chicken. And, yeah, I tell you what we need to do is make a map of our little island here. I think that could be really cool, because it's really starting to come along. Lots going on on this little island, and lots more still to come. But let me check my time here, and I will be back in a flash. Okay, guys, I am back. I have checked my time, and it turns out I'm all out of it. So we're going to have to call this episode here, but never you fret. I do plan on being back soon. Can't tell you exactly how soon. You know, life is life. But expect me back sooner than, you know, the last time. <laughs> In any case, I want to thank each and every one of you for hanging out with me today. I hope you had a good time. If you did, you know what to do. All that fun YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that bell. All that good stuff. I would super, super appreciate it. And... You know, who knows? Maybe one day, right? Maybe one day. <laughs> but in any case, guys, that is going to do it for me today. I, again, just want to say thank you so much for joining me. I have been Will. This has been Will's World. You be excellent to each other. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.